A survey was done recently of the House of Representatives and the Senate, uh, our Washington politicians, and the survey was to find out how many millionaires uh, there are among the House of Representatives and the Senate. Well, there are 237. That means 44% of our senators and our congressmen and congresswomen are millionaires. And the rest, believe me, have substantial resources. Now, only 1% of the American public are millionaires. So when you look at something like health care, and you have the congressmen and the senators deciding uh, how much health care to provide for, say, the 30 to 35 million people who don't have any, who are in a constant uh, financial crisis uh, whenever anybody gets sick in their family, uh, it gives you some sense uh, that they may not realize what it means uh, to try to live on, say, a lower middle class income in this country. Uh, it is important to bring up. It's important to bring up because the congressmen and senators have superb uh, health care coverage. Uh, they get the best health care coverage, really, uh, that the United States can provide and the government pays for it. Uh, so I think it is important in keeping perspective. Now, let's look at uh, a $250,000 fine uh, that the owner of the Tennessee Titans, Bud Adams, uh, paid uh, last week uh, for flipping the bird uh, at the Buffalo Bills bench. Uh, so he takes his uh, middle fingers on both hands and points them several times uh, at the Buffalo Bills bench. He did it uh, three times, I believe. Uh, it was photographed. I think it's on a YouTube video. He's paying $250,000 for that mistake. And I have to give him credit. He hasn't complained. Uh, he's apologized to the Bills fans. It's certainly undignified, but $250,000. Uh, it must just astonish people uh, that somebody could be fined that much uh, for something they see uh, every day. Certainly they see probably driving to work. The other uh, interesting find is uh, Ocho Cinco's uh, Bengal wide receiver, a very interesting guy, uh, loves the attention, loves to be uh, uh, a part of the uh, media, uh, but he thought he was being funny when he walked up to a replay official and offered him a dollar bribe uh, not to overturn a reception uh, and, uh, from the replay. Uh, and the official uh, refused to take the dollar, uh, wasn't smiling, and uh, Ocho Cinco is now $20,000 poorer uh, for his little joke about bribing the officials. I think all in all you have to give the NFL credit. They're not fooling around. They really let people know uh, what they expect the NFL image to be, uh, whether it be, uh, say, a player like uh, Roger Vick, who, who has uh, dogfighting on his property, uh, an owner who flips the bird at the opponents, or Ocho Cinco who thinks it's funny to, to, to show that he might bribe an official, um, those fines get everybody's attention. Uh, and I think, again, in these economic times, uh, $250,000 is extraordinary. Just another uh, very short uh, report is that the uh, Muslim uh, soldiers who go to Iraq and to Afghanistan often change their names on their uniforms uh, because in the event that they might be captured uh, by some fanatical Islamic sect, uh, they wouldn't want them to know that they're Muslim, uh, that there might be extra uh, reprisals uh, considering that. Uh, and again, uh, quite aside from the Fort Hood shootings, we need to be sensitive uh, to what it must be like to be a Muslim in the United States Armed Forces in either Afghanistan uh, or Iraq.